Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So originally, I was hoping to do this as a stream, but as it turns out, I don't have a lot of time today to be streaming. So instead, we're going to be doing a video for the new Boss Rush 9 that just dropped on Global. And this is actually a really good opportunity for me to showcase my new AGL Zamasu. By the way, for anybody that didn't see the video, the summoning video, uh, spoiler alert, I guess it's kind of late now, but you should definitely go watch that summoning video anyways because it was probably the best luck I have ever had in my entire time of playing Dokkan in one summoning session and you get to see me just lose my mind over and over again as I pull every single unit I wanted from the Zamasu banner at least. So uh, it's a really good time, go check it out guys, link in the description. And without further ado, let's jump into the events here and take on this new boss rush 9 here we go dokkan event boss rush 9 and obviously for the friend we're gonna bring another zamasu let's see if we can find like a nice one like a rainbow uh doesn't look like it okay so 69 percent is the best we can do that's totally fine that's mine as well 69 percent as you guys can see and for the rest of the team we have a tech zamasu str rose two supports in the uh, Topo as well as the West Supreme Kai, and then we have LR, Rose, and Zamasu as well. So mostly a villains centric team, I guess. And uh, items don't matter too much, obviously. I'm just gonna bring them just cuz, but I really hope I don't have to use them. I am gonna try to no item this if I can, but uh, if not, then it is what it is, doesn't really matter. But I don't expect to have any issues overall since. Boss Rush, generally speaking, is not a very uh, challenging event. The only annoying part is definitely this first event where this Boo just takes forever to die. But once you get past the Super Boo events, um, you should be good to go. It should be smooth sailing from there. So I'm expecting to do this in about like 25-30 minutes. If you guys want to race me, and go right ahead. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, <laughs> there's a very good chance you're going to beat me because I'm gonna be talking and sometimes I take a long time to think and like go through my uh, potential options. So uh, I'm not really going for speed here. It's gonna be a very chill video guys. We're just gonna keep it low key. So race me if you want, but you're probably gonna win. But if you want to feel good about yourself, then, then go for it, absolutely. Okay, so as you can see, this boo, if you guys haven't done the events before, is just super, super tanky. I think if you bring, is it Patara or Majin Buu Saga? It's either Patara or Majin Buu Saga that has like a boost against them, I believe. So if you bring a lot of units from those categories, actually no, we have a, we have quite a few Patara, right? So maybe it's Majin Buu Saga. I don't know. There is a category that I think stops him from healing as much and maybe does more damage. I don't remember the boosts on like the Okan events too much because they're really not like that big of a deal, but. Um, I do know there is some kind of like boost category for this event specifically, like the uh, Super Boo Dokkan event. So if you want to make this a little bit easier, then I would suggest running whatever the boost category is. Uh, I'll probably put like a little, you know, note above me about the actual category since I forgot right now, but uh, you could do that. But because I just pulled the new Zamasu and I want to be able to like use his team. Oh crap, this is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, 144k, okay. Damn, look at that. Um, since I just pulled him, I want to like use this as an excuse to actually uh, put him to work. That's why we're going with this team. It's not my best team, obviously, but it is it is a pretty good team, honestly. Okay, so we just got the transformation off. So uh, if you guys didn't know, he transforms after the third turn and becomes uh, Fusion Zamasu. And he should be hitting a little bit harder than before. He's actually not linked with his best partner. His best partner is the, um, the Tech Zamasu on this team. So I will try to get them together a little bit later on. But it's okay. It's okay. Yo, him and uh, the STR Rose are good partners too. So it's not really a big deal. Right, let's see what he does here. So we're going to tank pretty well, I think. 103 to 40 because we do have the 40% the damage reduction. And we are over 2 million attack already, guys. Pretty nice. And like I said, not his optimal linking partner either. So uh, those are some pretty good numbers, man. Obviously, there's the support from the Topo, which increases his attack. So without the support, I would say like 1.7, 1.8 is more accurate. But still, 
those are some pretty good numbers, and he's not even getting that insane boost, which you'll see in just a second once we use the active skill. And, uh, you know, I'm probably gonna turn up the sound once we- Actually, no, you know what? I think I have the English voices set, so I don't necessarily want you guys to go through that. So, um, you know what? I'll keep it as is for now. I'll keep it as is. Okay. So, let's actually take this guy out of rotation so we can link him with the Rosé on the other rotation. And just take some orbs. The Texamasu actually is still really good, guys. I know he's like a super old unit at this point, but he still hits like really hard, which you'll see in, a, in just a second. So this Masu right now, pre-active uh, skill transformation, is getting 1.6, 1.7 mil with a dupe. My Texamasu only has one dupe as well. So let's see how he compares. Look at that, 1.4. That's not bad. It's not bad. Now obviously he doesn't have the tanking capabilities of the AGL Zamasu. I mean, he's just overall not as good of a unit as the AGL Zamasu. That's to be expected. But for a unit that's as old as he is, like two, three, maybe like close to three years now? Maybe close to three years old now, right? So maybe more. I don't know exactly. You know what? He's a very old unit. I'll just go with that, right? So given how old this dude is, um, that damage is still quite impressive, and as you guys know, he is going to be getting a Extreme Z Awakening at some point in the future. And once that happens, man, it's just, it's just going to be over. Okay, so speaking of it being over, let's pop this active skill here. Like I said, keeping the sound off because I have the English voice acting on, and it's just really not great. I mean, it's, as I said in the original video, it's marginally better than the Trunks, but the Trunks is just awful so it's not saying much that it's better than the trunks you know but still like i i definitely should switch over to the japanese one. Oh wait hold on hold on wait can i change it here oh i don't i don't i don't think so item zone abandoned quest possession no okay no i thought i could change the the language here but you can't okay so yeah we're gonna keep it uh off for now <laughs> and in a future video i'll uh, let you guys hear it i mean i'm sure you guys have already heard it it's really not good okay so, let's see what kind of damage we can put out here. I am a little bit afraid that the West Kai is going to die, but I don't want to use an item, so we're not going to use an item. It's going to risk it a little bit. And, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. 3.5 million! 3.5 million. Now, this guy's going to heal up back, like, back to full because he's super annoying like that, but I don't even care, man. I don't even care. 3.46, basically 3.5 million attack from the one dupe Zamasu. That's why I wanted this guy so bad. That's why I was telling you guys this dude is an absolute beast. Please don't die. Rose, I know you can't I know you can't tank, but okay, we're good. You know what, I, I'm gonna have to item next turn, guys. I know it's not cool, but this team is not meant to be tanky, and the only reason I chose it is because of uh, the Zamasu, so. Yeah, I'm a, you know what? No shame. No shame. I'm gonna pop the item. You know what? You guys can say what you want. Senzu Bean. There we go. And... Oh, are we gonna lose Big Bad Boss? Oh, we lost Big Bad Bosses. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Alright, we're gonna pop that seal one more time. We're gonna see the great animation. No sound, but that's probably for your benefit. No, it's definitely for your benefit. I'm doing you guys a favor. Why not letting you hear that English? English voice acting. <laughs> oh man, I, I was I had such high hopes, guys. For I mean, I don't know why I did, because they always have never like they've never been that good. Like I think Vegeta's voice is okay, like the dub, like Chris uh, Chris Sabat. I think his voice acting is decent. I think Sean Shemmel's Goku voice is not bad. Um, but generally speaking, like dub voices are just not that good, right? Like it just compared to their Japanese counterparts, it's never been on par. It's never been like in the same on the same level. So I don't know why I had expectations, but I did and uh, they were gravely misplaced because man <laughs> if you guys haven't heard Trunks and Zamasu's English voice acting or their active skills, man, uh, don't do it. It's just not worth it. But if you if you're really curious, go check it out. Um, it, it, you can hear it in uh, the video where I talk initially about like both units, like should you summon. I think it's the should you summon video where I play the animations too, and 
I mean, you'll, you'll see, you see, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's just not a good time. So I'm gonna take the AGLs and Masu out of rotation because I do want to keep the STR Rose and the Tech uh, Rose and Zamasu together for the future events. Um, but okay, here we go. 2.6 million from the LR Rose. No dupes, by the way. Still an absolute monster. Um, all the summonable LRs are, man. Even the older ones, like the original ones, the Rose, the Majin Vegeta, the Int LR Gohan, obviously. Still all monsters. And when people talk about like summonable LRs and tier lists and stuff, and like saying like one summonable LR is like bad or whatever, that's only comparatively to the other summonable LRs, right? But when you look at like any summonable LR, no matter which one you're talking about, like LR Trunks, LR Bardock, who are two two units which are considered like some of the worst uh, summonable LRs, they're still ridiculous, man. I don't care what you say. Like if you can say LR Bardock is bad compared to LR Kale and Khalifla, sure, okay, they're they're not on par. That's for sure. I can agree with that. But when you compare LR Bardock to almost like any other unit in the game that's not a summonable LR, he's still very very good seriously all right three over three million consistently from the uh agl rose I just love this guy man i love this guy so much all right two million and boot is finally dead so that took us about 10 minutes um but the rest of the events should be much smoother sailing so we'll, so i think our original target of like 30 minutes might be a little bit optimistic but let's say like 35 minutes it's it, we're still gonna be close we're still gonna be close Alright, um, I remember this cooler hits really hard, but probably not for the first stage. Probably. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm not too worried about the LR Rosé, I am worried about the STR Rosé. As awesome as STR Rosé is, like for all the reasons that he's amazing and for all the reasons I love him, he can't tank. He just can't take a hit, man. Like, if, if I get supered, it's probably gonna do like... 150k, 200k maybe. We'll see. Oh, by the way guys, let me know in the comments down below if you have uh, been summoning on these banners. I know not everybody has been summoning because some people are just uh, really, really intent on saving for future banners, which I understand to an extent because um, a, a good amount of the units that are featured on the Zamasu and Trunks banners were already here for the Cell and Gohan banners. But at the same time, they're amazing banners, and I would not personally tell people to skip, but if you wanted to skip these banners, I somewhat understand. But if you did summon, going back to my original point, if you did summon on these banners, let me know in the comments down below um, how you did as far as your luck, uh, went, how many stones you spent, and what did those stones get you. Hopefully everybody got good luck, but I mean, the way this game goes is some people get blessed like I got blessed personally for this celebration or for uh, the Zamasu banner so far but a lot of people are still gonna get shafted man like this game gives but it mostly takes away yo did the rose holy crap man <laughs> their attack went up to 3.4 million is that right did I see right or was that like did I see because I only saw that out of the corner of my eye right so maybe I was wrong about that but that was that looked pretty crazy, man. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I personally got really lucky, and this is like one of those rare occurrences where your boy actually didn't get shafted. Because generally speaking, when it comes to dual dual confess, I do have really, like, really, really bad luck um, on you know these dual banners, right? But this time, not so much. I mean, at least for the one banner, I'm, I'm gonna go back into the trunks banner uh, later today for a collab with my boy Scott. And actually, depending on how the timing works out, because I'm filming right after this, so I might have to post the collab early. So I think some things I say in this video might be irrelevant at this point, but either way, I'm doing a collab, like at least in real life, I'm doing the collab after I film this. And uh, I'm probably gonna be going just on the, probably just the Trunks banner, since I already have Zamasu, I already have Into Rose, I already have AGL Metal Cooler, I already have a dupe in my Broly, um, I already have a dupe in my Zamasu, obviously, still no Trunks, so Trunks banner definitely makes a lot more sense for me. But that being said, um, 
I do want more dupes and everything on the Rosé banner, so it's going to be a bit tough to decide what I want to do there. Um, let's go for the HL one, obviously. There we go. But I'm starting with the trunks first, and depending on how those summons go, then we will decide from there. But yeah, guys, um, <laughs> really lucky this time around. Doesn't really happen too much. Oh, I also rainbowed my OG AGL Gogeta. It's like... As a random side note, AGL Gogeta is rainbow now. You guys remember how hard it was for me to pull this dude on his original banner. In fact, I did not, I didn't pull a single copy on his original banner. So um, basically it was impossible for me to pull him, right? But when he came back for the Gohan, I pulled four copies, did not pull a single Gohan. Still want to just make that very clear. And uh, then I ended up pulling a AGL Gogeta, my first unit on my first multi on the Trunks banner. So now he is rainbowed. Hopefully I don't pull any more of him. Um, the, the Trunks banner does worry me a lot, actually. The Trunks banner worries me a ton because I have Vegito Blue rainbowed. I have uh, Trunks rainbowed, The uh, not not the new Trunks, the Int Trunks. I have Vegito Blue, like both Vegito Blues, actually. I just realized there's two of them. The physical one and the tech one are both rainbowed. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know, like I just, oh, uh, like the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta uh, only needs one more dupe, so I wouldn't mind the final dupe for that rainbow, but I wouldn't be super excited about pulling it either. Um, just overall, it's like, <laughs> not the best banner for me, to be honest, so I am a little bit concerned about going too deep there, because I feel like if I don't get the trunks in like one more round, then it's probably time to give up. I do really want that Kid Gohan, uh, Kid Goku though, the uh, Int Kid Goku, the, the Youth Leader and the DB Saga Leader. I think that'd be great to have, um, but if anything, I would just buy him with coins. Like if I, if I really, really want him, like after I do my summons, I still don't get him, I'm like, I still really want this guy. I'm probably just going to buy him with coins since I have 800 now and people that might tell me to save for AGL LR Gohan, trust me, I'm going to get those 100 coins by the time that the, like the 100 coins I need on top of whatever I spend to get the Kid Goku. Um, I'm gonna get them by the time that AGL LR Gohan comes back, man. I don't predict him to come back for at least, or I don't expect him to come back for at least another four months, maybe, maybe longer, depending on what Bandai wants to do. So, you know, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm probably, if I don't pull the Kid Goku in the next summons, probably just gonna buy him with the coins and I'm, I'm totally cool with that, man. I, I don't think I'll regret that by any means. I mean, you never know. Uh, it, it could definitely be a mistake if I do pull more dupes later on, but it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. Um, actually, that, that, that exact thing happened to me for LR, Goku, and Frieza. So you guys didn't see this. I didn't really post it or anything like that, but uh, originally I posted on Instagram that I bought the uh, LR, Goku, and Frieza, right? Because I had spent thousands and thousands of stones on the LR Androids banner, didn't pull the LR Androids, didn't pull um, basically anything I wanted, except for like dupes of Int LR Gohan, which was nice, but like <laughs> it didn't make up for all those stones I spent. So um, then I was like pissed off, right? And I just like rage spent my coins and bought my LR Goku and Frieza. So I was like, you know what? I spent all this all this money, all these stones, and at the very least, I want something I can I can use, right? So, or like something new I can use. So I bought the Goku and Frieza, and then later on, off camera, I did a bunch of rage summons too, <laughs> and um, I pulled a dupe of the Goku and Frieza. Still no androids, but I ended up pulling a dupe for the Goku and Frieza, and I think I got, I, th I think I got some kind of like crazy animation, like a, you know, Vegito Blue, or it's either Vegito Blue double screen crack or. Herculean boot, and I was like, yo, this is it. This is it. It's gonna be the androids. And it ended up being the dupe for the Goku and Frieza, which I wasn't necessarily upset about. Holy crap, that attacks that dude. 4.3 million. All right, that's two out of five done. It's taking a little bit longer than expected, but uh, we still got three more guys, and these three events aren't too bad. They're not too bad. We should be fine. Um. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I pulled the dupe, and now I have a one dupe Rosé. Um, did I say Rosé? No, Goku and Frieza. One dupe Goku and Frieza, and still no androids, and I still want them bad, guys. 
I still want them so freaking bad. It's gonna be tough to resist summoning. Oh man, it's gonna be really, really tough to resist summoning. Um, wait, 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 what did I say? That makes no sense. That wasn't even what I was talking about. It's gonna be hard to resist spending my coins uh, when they come back, even though ideally I wanna, I wanna spend my coins. Or no, ideally I wanna, I wanna summon them, right? I wanna pull them with stones. But uh, once the androids come back for the first time, I don't think I will be able to resist. I think I'm just gonna have to spend the 500 coins and uh, and buy them because I don't think I'm gonna pull them as an unfeatured LR. It's just, it's possible. People, plenty of people have done it, but. It's just not something I do, man. It's just not something your boy Tiger does, all right? Like, Dokkan usually, that's why I was so surprised by how lucky I got in the previous summoning video, but usually Dokkan makes me work for my units, right? They don't, they just don't, they don't just like give it to me like they do for a lot of people. Like I have a, I have a chat with a lot of my friends that play Dokkan and we like talk and like post polls and stuff like that, right? And uh, generally just like flex on each other with summons and the, 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 the thing that's funny is usually like like 95% of the time they always pull mad fire in that chat and like there's just me in the corner being like oh, I spent a thousand stones didn't get what I want it's like being super sad but this time around um, a lot of them actually at least so far have been getting shafted uh, I mean to, to a degree like my boy Anthony <laughs> he spent I think like 200 stones, maybe 300, something, maybe like one or two rounds of summons on the Trunks Banner and pulled five Gogetas, pulled five AGL Gogetas. So in, in, in one sense, you can say like, oh, that's really good luck, man. If, you, if you're going for Gogeta, that's amazing. But at the same time, he was going for the Trunks and he didn't pull a single Trunks, but he pulled five Gogetas and uh, rainbowed the guy. So uh, I want to say that's bad luck, but it's just like, it, it, it's funny luck, I guess. It's 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 interesting, right? And then and then like my boy Scott has been getting shafted uh, pretty hard recently. Um, didn't get Trunks or Zamasu. Ended up raging and buying Metal Cooler. And uh, I think oh I think AGL Gogeta his first copy. So for some reason Scott didn't have a single copy of AGL Gogeta. I don't I don't really know how that happened, but apparently that was the case. So he bought he just like raged because he didn't pull either of them. It was like yo screw this I'm buying Cooler. I'm buying Gogeta with the coins, and I was just like, dude, why would you do that? I mean, <laughs> we're literally summoning tomorrow, dude. Like, I was messaging him yesterday, I was like, we're literally summoning tomorrow. Why would you spend your coins now when you have the potential of pulling them just like, if you just waited one more day, dude, just made it wait one more day. You could have pulled them instead of spending the coins, but he was like, you know what, man, it's fine. Like, I'm gonna go for the rainbow anyways like if, if I get them if I get dupes tomorrow then it's it's a good thing because I'll use those dupes right it's all good so I'm like okay man whatever you say if, if, if that's what you want to do then uh, I'm not gonna stop you right so I mean I couldn't stop him anyways he already did it if he asked me if he had to give ask for my advice about whether or not he should you know spend the coins before we did more summons on the banners obviously I would have told him no but Unfortunately, he did not ask for my expert opinion <laughs> and uh, just ended up doing it. And I was like, okay, man, if that's what you want to do, then, 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 you know, more power to you. But um, yeah, I think that is a lesson to all of you out there, especially newer players. Uh, do not buy a unit with coins. If you really, really want them and you get shafted on the banner you're summoning on and you don't get them, then fine, go for it. But if you are still planning to do more summons on a banner with a unit you want, instead of buying them because you're mad at the, in the moment, just wait until you do the summons and if you still get shafted, then fine, go buy them. But like, don't don't preemptively buy them and like risk, risk the possibility of you just pulling dupes later on and feeling bad about it. Because coins, like as much as, you know, you can collect a good amount of them over time, uh, it, they're still fairly valuable, you know, like, so I, I wouldn't throw throw them away like that. Uh, but that being said, I have been <laughs> the person to, like, just blow blow coins just because I was mad, right? Like I said, I just told you the story about my LR Goku and Frieza experience, and uh, I still regret that to this day. So don't be like me. Don't be like Scott, all right? Just be patient, and your patience will maybe be rewarded if, if it doesn't get rewarded then that's when you spend the coins and you buy the unit 
Like, for example, for the AGL LR Gohan, when he comes back, I will have the coins to buy him. I will, I will get him one way or another, but I'm going to do some summons first on the banner he's on, right, before I commit that, because I, I don't, like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not spending coins on dupes, you know? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buying dupes with my coins, even though I was tempted in the past to do that for, like, Broly and stuff like that, because I wanted my, uh, my Fizz Broly to, to crit, but, um, I mean, I, I, I control myself. I was like, you know what, man? It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Man, I freaking love AGL Zamasu. 3.7 million attack now. Give me a crit. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, 3 million. 3 million crit right there. Absolute beast. Two more stages, and then we are out of here, guys. So we used one item in the beginning just because we brought some uh, pretty weak like support units, like the Supreme Kai. West Kai is really, really good as a support, obviously. But um, otherwise, she's like uh, not very good at tanking. She doesn't hit very hard. So that's why we use the item. All right, don't judge me, guys. I know. I know people are still going to chirp me in the comments just because like I use that item. And I deserve it. I deserve it. It's okay. I understand. But um, just understand that if I, had, if I had brought my like best team, if I wanted to bring like my best movie heroes team or my best... Um, movie bosses team or something like that, then we could have easily, or Patara, for example, or even uh, Representatives Universe 7, something like that, then yeah, we could have totally no item this, but that wasn't the point, all right? The point was to have fun with the new Zamasu while uh, clearing the new boss rush, all right? That's, that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> oh, crap. I should have saved all those orbs for the LR. That like kind of a waste. Considering he was already at max key before I gave him like a million orbs. Alright. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Misplay. Misplay. Oh man. Yo, just imagine how strong this guy's gonna be. Yo, once he gets an easy A, this guy's already doing so much freaking damage. Yo, he heard me talking about him. He heard me talking about him. He's like, yo, let me show you more of what I can do. 1.5 million with the crit and then another additional 1.5 million super. So over 3 million attack total uh, for a two and a half to three year unit. Monster, absolute monster. All right, I don't think we'll have to use another item for the rest of this run. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's dead. Yo, this Dokkan attack, watch. This Dokkan attack from the Rose and Zamasu is gonna finish the Gogeta and then we'll move on to the Gogeta blue stage. And then we'll move on to Broly, and then that will be... That will be game. That will be the video. Okay, I need to hurry this up. I need to haul ass, because I'm supposed to film with Scott in three minutes. So I'm going to keep him waiting for a second. I think he'll understand. He's a pretty chill guy, but... I still don't want to, like... <laughs> keep him waiting for too long. So currently, we're at 27, 28 minutes, I believe, of filming. And I think we can finish the Broly event in 6 minutes, and we can finish this one in probably the next 30 seconds. Um, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we, we'll keep Scott waiting for a max of like 10 minutes. Yo, we made the final stage. We made the final stage of the Gogeta event without being able to activate the active skill of uh, the Zamasu's yet. That is... pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, this team is quite monstrous, man. Like I said, it's not my best team. It's not even like the best team in the game by any means, but uh, it, it's it's quite strong. This new Realm of Gods team with like all these villains and stuff like that. Yo, especially um, after the physical Goku Black's EZA comes to global, which is the next ECA officially confirmed for part two of the thank you celebration, if you guys didn't see. Um, I totally missed it, I'm not gonna lie. Like when I was originally doing the, the, the news video for the celebration, I did not see that. So that's my bad, I'm an idiot. But um, <laughs> in the news, if you go to the blue Dragonstone selection, uh, it does tell you that the Fizz Goku Black is getting an EZA. And once he gets that EZA, he's gonna be so freaking good on this team too. So it's gonna e provide an even bigger boost to this whole like Zamasu, Rose, you know, theme, right? Goku Black theme. And uh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a really fun team to run. And you know what's interesting about the Rose, or not the Rose, the uh, Go physical Goku Black is that he's actually different. I made a video about this. I think a lot of people already knew, but uh, newer players who like, you know, recently joined probably didn't. 
uh, the Fizz Goku Black is actually different than the, like on Global, than the one on JP. He's actually better than the one on JP, because um, for some reason, when Fizz Goku Black was originally released on Global, um, it was a couple months after, I think it was like five or six months after he was released on JP, right? And when he was released on Global, they decided to give him a buff, like a pretty decent buff to it. Like he got over a thousand more attack than the, than the JP version. And he also got a support passive for extreme types, whereas the uh, JP version didn't have any support, had less attack, had less HP, I believe. I think the defense was exactly the same, but uh, the Global version was like quite a bit better in various ways, right? So. Now that he's getting an easy A, it's gonna be interesting to see what they end up doing with the Fizz Goku Black. Like, are they gonna give him the exact same easy A and also the same attack, like same stat boost, and just keep him better than the JP version, or are they gonna give him less attack and less HP to make him on par with the JP version post easy A and uh, give him the same passive, just like take away that plus three key for extreme types? I don't really know. I have no idea what. Bandai has planned for Fizz Goku Black's EZA for Global, but I am excited to see and I really hope, I really do hope that they keep it um, the same as before, as in like better on Global, you know, give him better stats and give him still the, give him the exact same like passive as he has on JP post Extreme Z Awakening, but just with the plus three key as well. I think that would be pretty nice. I mean, yo, for JP players out there that might be pissed about that, yo, just just keep in mind, keep in mind that there are so many ways, so many different um, qualities about JP that are better than, than, than Global, man, like all the rewards and all that stuff. Um, so I think that every once in a while, if Vanai decides to bless Global with some with with a few like little things here and there, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. You know what? I'm not gonna talk more about it because it's gonna turn into like a JP versus global thing, and I don't really want to perpetuate that. I mean, obviously, as a global main, I do have my opinions, but I still got love for for JP, man. I don't want to like start something where people can say like, oh, Tiger hates JP. He hates JP players. Like he's you know a global elitist or something, which I don't really think is a thing. I don't think you can be an elitist for a version that is objectively um, treated, at least, like as an inferior, you know, version, right? So, uh, <laughs> anyways, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. Uh, let's talk about the LR Super Saiyan God Goku, dude. Um, he just came out on private servers because the data download came out. He's still not released on JP yet. I don't know exactly when he is coming to JP. I haven't been keeping too close tabs on that, but um, I did see some showcases, and he looks, it looks okay. He looks okay. I mean, on paper, when we first got the details, um, I was saying how he seemed kind of underwhelming. In fact, for the reason of his passive being a little bit underwhelming, um, I thought he could have potentially been a free-to-play unit, but then his cost was 77 and his leader scale was just too good to be a free-to-play unit, so I was like, okay, he's definitely summonable, but uh, his boosts on his passive are just kind of mediocre, right? So, I mean, like, he gets high chance to crit, which is amazing, high chance to evade, amazing, but it's just the actual stat boosts themselves that seem kind of a, a little weak, right? A little weak, so uh, I wanted to withhold judgment until we saw the gameplay, until we saw some showcases, and now that we have them, I still think that he is a little bit underwhelming for what we have come to expect. Maybe we've been spoiled, right? Maybe um, because of like all the craziness that they've given us, you know, recently with like LR Gohan and Goten and the uh, LR Kale and Khalifla and all that stuff. Like we expect like crazy overpowered for uh, new units, right? New LRs especially, but. Um, as it turns out, you know, dope, they're, they're still okay with releasing like some like new units that are just like very good. Like I'm, I'm not saying the the new Goku is like bad by any means. All right, the new LR Super Saiyan God Goku, he's not bad by any means. I'm just saying he's not as overpowered as people would expect him to be, uh, as people would want him to be, and I don't think that's a bad thing. But uh, that being said, yeah, like he could have been better. <laughs> he could have been better. Still a good unit. Still is insane from a leader skill perspective don't get me wrong all right his leader skill 
is the best leader skill in the game. I don't care if it's 130%, he leads two of the biggest categories, two of the strongest categories in the entire game. And if you if you look at the fact that there are like a lot of units that have like multiple categories and stuff like that, um, he essentially kind of leads like uh, the Super Saiyan category two, if you think about it, right? And with the exception of like the Gogeta and Vegitos, because the fusions have never been in pure Saiyans, but he just needs a category that can, like, or two categories combined that can have so many overpowered units. So uh, from that perspective, he is insane. Um, he himself is good, but not like ridiculously overpowered as we would hope. Oh crap, the West Kai's at the end. Um, I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake. Let's be safe. The West Kai being at the end, man, means KO for us. If he, she gets supered, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pop that. Gotta be extra safe about that. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think that's all there is to say. And he still has some of the best uh, animations in the game. That that is definitely the truth. All right, that is definitely the case. Um, I think STR Cooler might still be better. I think STR Cooler, as far as like the tier of uh, super attack animations go, it's still like one tier above the Goku, but the Goku is right up there, man, like top 10 easily, maybe even top 5 in the game. I think STR Cooler is top 3. Um, what would I put up there as well? AGL Cooler, I think, is up there. I think the STR Namek Transforming Goku is right up there. But um, new, the new Super Saiyan God Goku is, is right there, and yeah, <laughs> if you guys are really into animations like I am, then uh, the animations alone are probably enough of a reason for, for you to at least throw like a couple multis into that banner, um, but if you just want like really, really good units to like build good teams with, I mean, even from that perspective, his leader skill, man, like... Yeah, I, I would still, I would still summon. If, if I was on JP, if I played JP a lot more than I actually do, I would probably still summon. Even though legendary summon banners are not great value, I just can't resist, man. I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm not necessarily recommending people to summon for him, but I personally would summon. And when he comes to global, I will be summoning for him because of the insane leader skill, because of the crazy, awesome animations, and. Once again, he's still a good unit. So don't go around telling people I'm saying that the new Goku is not a good unit because he definitely, definitely is. I just feel like he could have been better, all right? And with that said, oh, we finished it in what, 35, something like 35 minutes, 57 seconds. Took quite a while. Like I said, this was never supposed to be a race to begin with. So congratulations to everybody that was racing me and won. Let's pick up our 35 stones. There we go, we have 151 stones. I'm gonna pick up uh, probably two of the 91 stone packs for the collab with Scott and that's gonna do it for now guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video like I said super super chill wasn't supposed to be too serious and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the little showcase of the AGL Zamasu got to see what a one dupe Zamasu can do which I guess is a little bit unique since most showcases are with rainbowed versions of units um, I think this is a more realistic showcase since most people can only get like one or two dupes at most right so that's it. That's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.